Here I'll show you five different ways to hide data in Excel while still being able to access it, use formulas and functions on the data, as well as view the data later. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. No macros are going to be used, so no macros or VBA. Everything that I do here, you can do very easily within Excel. So I've got here a table of data on this master sheet. And here I have raw data. Let's say this is sales data for the year 2017 for all of these parts here. Over here, I'm using VLOOKUPs to pull the data from the raw data worksheet. So you can see that both of these sheets are linked. Now this tutorial is going to include hiding worksheets as well as hiding data within the worksheet itself and still making it accessible. Now let's start with the very first example and I'm going to preface it with an outline of the scenario which is let's say I want to filter the data here but I want to filter it by this letter right here. So to do this we can create a helper column. Helper columns are really going to help you sift through your data. So let's go to column B, right click that, go to insert. I'm just going to call this a helper column. So you can see already it kind of messes up the look of the spreadsheet. Now let's go ahead and get B out of there really quickly. It's going to be easy to do this because it's the same format with the same number of characters for every cell. So five, number of characters, one, copy it down. All right, now I've got a helper column so I can filter by it, and do all sorts of fun stuff. I may want to use some sort of other function, sum if, count if, on this column. Well, what we can do is we can get rid of it by right-clicking the column and then going to hide. And it is really as simple as that. And now we've hidden column B. So you can see it goes column A, column C, column D. There is no column B. Now you do really need to be careful that you don't have any other data in the worksheet. So I'll zoom out here. Make sure you don't have anything else down here because it's going to hide the entire column. So let's go back up. To unhide it, select the columns on both sides of the hidden column and right click, unhide. And your column is back. Now you can do the same thing with rows. I don't have a good example for that right here, but it works exactly the same as columns. So right click any row, click hide, and you'll see now it goes from row four to row six. To unhide that, select the rows on both sides, right click, unhide. So hiding the rows and the columns is a great way to make your data look a little bit better. And you can still access all of the data contained within those columns and rows. So all of your formulas and your functions are still going to work as usual. So hiding rows and columns is the first example. Now let me go ahead and give you the very next one. Delete column B. Let's say that we wanted to put our helper column over here in column F. So it's no longer in column B, but it still does the same thing working on the data in column A. Let's say that we did not want to hide the column for one reason or another. There's data below it in column F, or we don't want to confuse people by having the columns go from E to G. Well, you can simply select all of the data here and make it the same color as the background. So in this case, it would be white, but it's not always a white background. And now it looks like there's absolutely no data there. But notice, that when I select the cell in the formula bar, we can see what's in the cell. If you double click it though, you're still not going to see anything except for when the cell references actually highlight. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to work on the cells, but it makes it so they are hidden. And this brings up an important point. The data is still here, the data is still accessible. Somebody can go ahead and delete it all. <laughs> so how do we get around that? Well, what you can do is you can protect the worksheet. So let's go to the Review tab, and over here we can click Protect Sheet. Now what that's going to do by default is make it so that no cells in the workbook can be edited or changed. We get this error message here, cell or chart you're trying to change, blah, 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 it's on a protected sheet, you can't do it without unprotecting the sheet. 
And that's now the case for every cell in this worksheet. And that's how this works by default when you protect the worksheet. So now I've got a worksheet that looks how I want it to look. The data in F can no longer be deleted, but it's still there for other formulas and functions to work on this data, to do something with it. So it's very quick, very simple, very easy. Now, what if you wanted to still be able to work on all of this data? I'm not going to go too much into depth on protecting the worksheets, but I'll show you this real quick. If we unprotect the worksheet, so on the Review tab, you click Unprotect. Now we can go back and edit the cells as usual. And if you wanted to make it so that we could work on these, you select them, you right-click them, you go to Format Cells, on the Protection tab, Uncheck Locked. So make sure that's not checked. Hit OK. Now when we protect the sheet once again, I can't do anything with these cells, but I can do whatever I want with these cells. So I can delete the data, I can change the data, do whatever I want. But up here, I can't change that. So that's how you can make it so you can change some cells, but you can't change other cells. And when you combine that with making the text the same color as the background, it allows you to hide data on the worksheet so that you can make it more useful for constructing the worksheet and displaying what you need to display, but not make it confusing for other people who don't need to see a helper column. So let's go and click Unprotect Sheet now. This button changes if the sheet's protected or unprotected, so Unprotect Sheet. Now it goes back to Protect Sheet. Let's go ahead and make these guys normal again. Format cells, locked. So by default, the cells are going to be locked. So once you protect the worksheet, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Now let's say you have a worksheet. You know some cells are hidden. You want to make it so that you can see them easily and quickly. Well, how do you know which cell has data in it unless you go to that cell? You don't. So click here in the upper left or just hit Control A a couple times. Go to the Home tab, and you can just change the text color to black. Now, if you have formatting on your worksheet and some of the cells are not black with the text color, this could mess that up a little bit, but at least you'll be able to see where the data is. So you can hit Control-Z, go back and fix that, and then make the desired data black. And then, if you want to, go ahead and change the title back here to Heading 4. So I took a little more extra time to explain how you can make it more useful once you hide the data by making it the same color as the background because the last thing you want is someone to accidentally delete a bunch of data that they didn't even know was there. Now that we've talked about protecting the worksheet so that people can't delete data from the cells and this helps us to hide the visible data, how do we hide the formulas? Let's say that I don't want someone to know that these are a bunch of VLOOKUPs. Well, what can I do about that? Let's go ahead and select the data. We right-click the data, we go back to Format Cells, on the Protection tab, check next to Hidden. So once we check Hidden, that means that the contents of the cell, not what you see, but what's actually contained within the cell, any formulas, any functions, none of that is going to appear in the formula bar. So if I hit OK. Now remember, none of this takes effect until we protect the worksheet. So look in the formula bar, you can still see all the VLOOKUP formulas. Go to Review, Protect Sheet, OK, and now it's gone. Look to the formula bar as I move the active cell. No more formulas. Now up here, I didn't make those cells hidden, so you can still see everything. Over here, I didn't make those hidden. You can still see the formulas. And even if I was to do it with text, so let's say I unprotect, go to March, Format, Hidden, OK, Protect. You still, you can see the MAR right here, but you can't see the MAR in the formula bar. So whatever is actually in the cell is not going to appear. Now, if you want to make it so the formulas don't appear in the formula bar, you should also make sure that the cells are locked. So let's just use these two as an example. Right-click, Format Cells. On the Protection tab, we have Locked and Hidden both checked. If we remove Locked, then hit OK, then Protect the Worksheet. Well, 
it's a bit annoying. So over here, I can't select it. Over here, I can, but nothing appears. Once I hit Enter, let's go down here as well, have a formula, nothing appears. Hit Enter, unprotect the sheet, and it's gone. So make sure that locked and hidden, let's undo those. Make sure that locked and hidden are checked at the same time. You don't have to have hidden checked, but if you do, make sure locked is also checked. All right. Now I've shown you how to hide cells, formulas, functions, data. Let's hide worksheets. So remember that these cells are linked with a worksheet raw 2017. But I don't need the raw worksheet to appear. It's just going to confuse people. So very simple, easy way to hide this. Right click the worksheet that you want to hide and click hide. Now it's no longer there, but you can see these formulas and functions still work on the hidden worksheet. No problem. And to get the worksheet back, go down here, right click a current worksheet and click unhide. Then you can select which worksheet to unhide and hit OK. And it's back. So as simple as can be, right click the worksheet to hide, click hide. To unhide it, right click a currently visible worksheet, click unhide, select the worksheet, and click OK. But there's one more way to hide a worksheet by hand. You can do it in VBA as well, but I'm not covering that in this tutorial. You can hide it by hand in a way that makes it a bit more difficult for somebody to access it, because here anyone could still go back and unhide it. So we want to go to the VBA window, even though we're not going to use VBA. Hit Alt F11 on the keyboard. Then select the worksheet over here from the left window, the project window. Select the worksheet that you want to hide. And then go down here in the properties window. You should see both of these windows by default. If you don't, you can go to view and you can click project explorer and property window to make sure they pop up. So select the worksheet that you want to hide. Go down to this bottom window. And the last option, the visible property, click that and change it to Excel sheet very hidden. Now it looks like nothing changed, but it did. When we did that, it immediately moved the active sheet to sheet one, the sheet named master sheet. So let's go back and click sheet two, raw 2017. And you can see that the visible property has been changed to Excel sheet very hidden. Now let's hit Alt F11 to go back to the worksheet. And you can see there is only the master sheet. The raw 2017 sheet is not there. And when I right click this, unhide doesn't do anything. It doesn't even appear. So a regular user is not going to have any idea that there are any other worksheets in this workbook. But these VLOOKUP functions are still going to work. So everything that you have pointing to the hidden data still works. Now, if you want to unhide the worksheet, so a user can still unhide it this way, but it's more difficult. Go back to the VBA window, Alt F11, select the worksheet that you want to unhide, go back down to the visible property and change it from Excel sheet very hidden to Excel sheet visible. Alt F11 to go back to the worksheet. Now we've got our raw tab back. Now there are other more complicated ways to lock down your data in Excel, but this tutorial was about five easy ways to quickly hide your data in Excel. And this is just going to make it so that your worksheets and your workbooks are more usable. So it's not going to confuse someone as much, another colleague who's never seen it before and they wonder where the missing columns are or there are hidden worksheets, what's going on. This makes it so it's a little bit easier to use. And it locks it down a tiny bit, but these methods are not meant to hide or obscure really sensitive information within a workbook. So please don't take it that way. And that's it for five easy ways to quickly hide data in Excel. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.